Hi, my name is Amy, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's video log from Dragon's Bed Apothecary. I'm very glad you're here. So this video log finds us at the beginning of a brand new month, and I was thinking about how I could lay out um, the blog post for this month, and I noticed that I was becoming very reflective of this whole year. So 2020 has indeed been one of those strangest times I have ever known. Um, we all have those years where things can be a little um, challenging <laughs> and more so than others, but I think this year has not only been challenging, but highly unique. When I look back at the start of this year, there was very little talk about what could go wrong. And we all know something can always go wrong. But like many, I felt positive about this year and was looking forward to the start of a new decade that would lead to things I was interested in achieving. Sometimes, though, plans do need to change. And as we find challenges become not things we can easily fix or move out of our way, 2020 has proven to be a big challenge in so many ways. The lessons of this year have provided through these challenges we have faced um, have inspired me in many ways I didn't expect. Yes, there were plenty of hard times and those effects are still being felt in many places, including small businesses like Dragon's Bed Apothecary. But what I feel is optimism for the future. There are lots of things in life that we can't control. But I firmly believe our journey, our well-being, and our dreams are firmly within our controls to create what we need and want in our lives. It may mean we've got to get creative, we got to modify our strategy at times, um, we even got to find a new course altogether. But we are always in the command seat of our journey, our well-being, and our dreams, and no one can take that away. When we reduce our dependency on man-made things in our life and establish our own independence and position ourselves for the storms that come in life, both big and small, we can find a security unlike any other. We get to control all of our life in the purest form and are able to make decisions that are right for us versus reacting to a crisis after crisis after pandemic after pandemic until we have nothing left. What I learned this year was our journey to transform to a more natural and simple way of living. It's one of the smartest things we've ever done. And it changed how we take care of our health to more natural. And it did indeed give us more ability to be optimistic about the challenges that we faced in our world and have the ability to continue dreaming of what we wanted to have in our lives. I believe the impact and effects of this year will be with us for a very, very long time. There's a very long road ahead for restoring vitality in our economy, uh, repairing relationships with each other over the political nonsense, and just healing our world. Yet, I believe if we begin to move in the idea that we can achieve these things, if we consider how we take back the controls of our own individual journey, well-being, and dreams, we're in a much better place to achieve those things. Have you considered the last time you worked so passionately to bring a dream you had into reality? Do you even still dream at all? As we emerge and figure out what's next in our world, I invite you to consider what's next for you and your family. How will you be prepared for the next time something like this happens? And I think it will happen again. Do you feel in control of your journey and well-being, not only in the middle of a pandemic, but every single day? If the answer to any of those questions is no, and you're not sure now is the time to begin exploring how to change that, let me assure you, it most definitely is. Sadly, I do believe this is not the only crisis we will see of this time. What helped me tremendously when I first started considering these um, questions 
was looking at each area of our family's life and seeing what we needed and what we could change. It took some time to get through it all, but we each change we made, it opened opportunities for even more changes that helped us not only live more naturally and simply, but more affordably. And that was super important during this year. In the free lifestyle wellness questionnaire I offer over on dragonspitofhealthcare.com, I provide you with an easy walkthrough of this type of assessment to help you get started. I even give you a personalized report with support and resources to help you make choices that are right for you to get started with. There is nothing more secure than knowing you are in control of your journey, your well-being, and your dreams, and you have what you need to support them, regardless of what storm comes at us next. It is my hope the rest of 2020 is positive and a healing time for so many families, our communities, and the world at large. But I also hope it is a time that we take to consider very deeply and seriously how we change and influence what is next in our own lives to live more naturally and simply and differently than we were before. Thinking in this way certainly makes it seem more than just a bottle of detergent or a vitamin that we can include in our life. Sometimes these small details in our everyday living have the biggest impact to how we can truly be in more control of our life and in the best possible way to be happy, healthy, and secure. I cannot tell you the peace that comes with security. If you have questions or would like more information, please reach out to me through um, the contact me over on dragonspitapothecary.com. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram and certainly subscribe to our YouTube channel um, to keep up with us. Until next time, my friends, please live naturally and go over and take that lifestyle wellness questionnaire. You won't regret it. Talk to you soon.